You know the most delightful thing about a transportation of pornography charge from Dallas involving a member of the Dallas Police Department? Banco Santander. See, originally the reports came that when Santander was shot on the 24th, that he had a partner, a woman, and that both of them had died. And then the next day, you know, they got shot on the 24th, and it was reported the next day that he had died on the next day. He'd gone to the hospital, there was time in the hospital, and then he died. But she supposedly died as well. Now, when I came to Dallas, I went to the police memorial, and I found his name on the police memorial, but I didn't find hers. And at some point, I had a situation on the train line, and I told them that I had evidence and I needed to file a report about how I had been witness to and had on my person at that time evidence about the murder of Rogelio Santander. And they put me in a car and they drove me downtown and they dropped me off and said, you know what, you can get an ID tomorrow. And when I was in that car, he told me that the woman involved in that shooting, the female who was the, the woman who was the partner, she didn't die, that she recovered. It had been a, a misreport that she had died. Now, I'm glad she didn't die on one hand, right? But did she get a ride-along maybe by an uh, investment advisor or some securities broker who worked at a firm that may have been involved with financing the pension system? Or did that get switched over to some woman who has a name that sounds like a ethnic group, but not a Hispanic ethnic group? A Chinese ethnic group, right? No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Is that too much? I know. Play nuclear football can be a problem, right? But it's actually not. If you have enough time and you're able to get over the radio uh, radioactivity they try to download on your neuro pathways, you can actually follow it pretty lucidly. How about the fact that it almost exactly two years ago, there was a trial going on for a City official in Dallas concerning a scam involving buses for school children and cameras. The cameras on the buses for the school. You have any idea how disgusting the child pornography that was streaming through Dallas and Fort Worth was at that time? It was so horrible. It was so horrible that adults who claimed they were veterans of the United States military were literally just like I'm talking to you, except making pornography. That was what was going on on the unconscious pathways. Now, I'm one of these people that's either blessed or cursed, depending upon how you take it. I can see it. I can see it. Now, that's not what I saw today, right? I saw something a little different today because something has uh, been recalibrated. Apparently, there was a 30-year bond on my ass that's passed now, and they haven't bonded me again, and they're not going to be able to. Hallelujah, right? Something's happened. It's unprecedented. I'm grateful. But there's tons and tons of other people that are supposed to be in the dark because Texas wants that to be confidential. It's not confidential. It's a crime. You never acknowledge Rogelio Santander was strategically murdered as part of a long-term housing bond flip deal. That was my charge in 2008. It's not Chicago school anymore, guys.